وما الذي أخرج إبليس من ملكوت السماء وطرده ولعنه ومسخ ظاهره وباطنه فجعل صورة أقبح صورة وأشنعها and he says إخوان and what caused Iblis to be kicked out from the kingdom of paradise to be thrown out to be cursed to have his structure his physical affair to be changed and his inward qualities to be changed from the most beautiful to the most ugly and disgraceful and despicable what was that matter Ikhwan and then Ibn Qayyim continues وَبَدْرَ بِالْقُرْبِ بُعْدًا an exchange from Iblis closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with farness being far away from Allah tabarakhu ta'ala وَبِالرَّحْمَ لَعْنَ and instead of the mercy of Allah tabarakhu ta'ala it was exchanged for the curse of Allah tabarakhu ta'ala وَبِالْجَمَالِ قُبْحًا and changed the beauty of his form and shape to ugliness and to be disfigured what changed this matter ya Ikhwan Ibn Qayyim is asking Ikhwan and if we look at this particular matter we see that Ibn Qayyim is establishing a matter for us. He was showing us, Ikhwan, that when one is upon obedience to Allah Tabarakhu Ta'ala, upon ta'ah, obedience to the command of Allah Tabarakhu Ta'ala, then he is in the best of conditions. And as he goes to disobedience to Allah Tabarakhu Ta'ala, as he moves towards disobedience, sin, transgression, then his form is changed, his shape is changed, his appearance before the creation is changed, until he becomes disfigured and ugly and despicable before the creation. And Ibn Qayyim continues, Ikhwan, that after all of these matters, he said, The shaitan became a leader for every criminal and every sinner. And he said, And he was pleased, Ikhwan, with being a leader of the people of, 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 of evil and sin and transgression after worship and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the beginning of his affair. Ibn Qayyim continues to ask questions of us, Ikhwan. What caused the waters to, to rise in the earth until it passed over the tops of the mountains? What caused that matter, Ikhwan? حتى ألقتهم موت على وجه الأرض كأنهم أعجاز نخل قاوية. And then he asked a question, Ikhwan. After asking, what caused the people to be drowned in the great flood, Ikhwan? What was the cause of this matter? He asked, what was the cause of the people of Aad, Ikhwan, that there was sent down upon them, Ikhwan, a great reef, a great wind, a violent wind that is mentioned that caused them to be scattered throughout the earth as if they were the trunks of the dead date palms. A mighty nation before this, Ikhwan. A nation of might and power, wealth and ability and power in the earth. But because of their transgressions against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were left scattered, Ikhwan, like the date palms upon the earth. And then Ibn Qayyim continues to ask us questions, Ya Ikhwan. And what was it, Ya Ikhwan, that caused that awful cry, that violent scream, Ya Ikhwan, upon the people of Thamud, until their hearts stopped in their chests, and they died, Ya Ikhwan, the first of them and the last of them. And what caused the villages of the people of Lut, Ikhwan, to be raised so high that the angels of the heavens could hear the barking of their dogs? What caused this affair, Ya Ikhwan, that raised them to this particular level? عَلَيْهِمْ And then they were turned upside down. فَجَعَلَ عَلِيَهَا سَافِلَهَا And their villages, Ikhwan, the uppermost of it became the lower, the lower portion of it. It was turned upside down. فَأَهْلَكُهُمْ جَمِيعًا And they were all destroyed in this matter. ثُمَّ حِجَارَةٍ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ عَلَيْهِمْ And then they were sent down upon them brimstone from the heaven. Hot fire, Ikhwan. فَجَمَعَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ الْعُقُوبَةِ مَا لَمْ يَجْمَعْهُ عَلَىٰ أُمَّةٍ غَيْرِهِمْ And they were, there was comprised upon them, or there was sent down upon them, a punishment, Ikhwan, that was not pulled together for anyone that came before them. And then Ibn Qayyim continues, Ikhwan, to ask these questions. وَمَا الَّذِي أَغْرَقَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَقَوْمِهِ فِي الْبَحَرِ ثُمَّ نُقِلَتْ أَرْوَاحُهُمْ إِلَىٰ جَهَنَّمْ فَالْأَجْسَادُ لِلْغَرَقِ وَالْأَرْوَاحُ لِلْحَرَقِ Listen to this matter, Ikhwan Ibn Qayyim is bringing us a tremendous matter. What caused Fir'aun, Pharaoh, and his people, a mighty nation, Ikhwan, given all types of wealth and ability in the earth, 
Ibn Qayyim is asking this tremendous question. What caused those people to be drowned in the, in, in the, in the ocean? In that sea there. And then he says, after this ikhwan, that because of this affair of theirs, their bodies were made for drowning and their souls will be made for burning in the next life. So matter is tremendous, ikhwan. What caused this matter? Ibn Qayyim continues to ask us. And then he continues, ikhwan. And what was the cause of a people who were mighty in war? A mighty group of warriors who were sent upon the children of Israel. What caused this matter, ikhwan? And they were caused to enter into their inhabitants. They killed the men, ikhwan, and they took the women as hostages. And they burned down their homes and they, they pillaged their wealth. And then those same people, those people were given might in fighting and war and in battle, they were sent back upon them another time. What was the cause of them being sent back again upon the children of Israel? Until then, after this, Ikhwani mentions that they destroyed everything that those people had built up and they pulled down that which they had, that, that, that which they had raised. What was the matter, Ikhwan, that caused all of these affairs? And Ibn Qayyim continues, Ikhwan, continues to ask, وَمَا الَّذِي سَلَّتَ عَلَيْهِمْ أَنْوَاعَ الْعُقُوبَاتِ مَرَّ بِالْقَتَلِ وَالسَّبِي وَخَرَابِ الْبِلَادِ وَمَرَّ بِجَوْرِ الْمُلُوكِ He says, Ikhwan, and what was the cause, Ikhwan, of, them, of these people and these different types of circumstances that came upon them? One time they were killed. Another time they were taken as captives in war. Their, their countries are destroyed. Their homes destroyed. Their buildings destroyed. What was the cause of all of these matters? And then he says, in another point, Ikhwan, they were turned into apes and swines. And then he says, after this, Ikhwan, from the statement of Allah, Allah says, and after all of this, we will continue to send upon them until the day of resurrection. Those who will continue to punish them and humiliate them until the day of resurrection. And Ibn Qayyim says, what was the cause of all of these matters? Allah wa huwa dhamb. Allah wa hiya dhunub. He says, indeed it is sins, ikhwan. It is sins and transgressions against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mighty nations that came before you. Do you believe that because we have the wealth, or because we have numbers, or because we have structures that are large and high in the earth, do you believe this is sufficient for you? La ya ikhwan. Those who came before you had lands greater had buildings higher, had wealth that was more abundant. And with all of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of their sins and their transgressions against him, turned them, ya as if they were the stalks of the earth. Ibn Qayyim continues, ikhwan, and he mentions after all of this, the statement of Imam Ahmed, a narration, ikhwan, that is tremendous upon the authority of Abdurrahman ibn Jubair, an abihi, لما فتحت قبرس فرق بين أهلها فبكى بعضهم إلى بعض فرأيت أبا الدرداء جالسا وحده يبكي فقلت يا أبا الدرداء ما يبكيك في يومنا عز الله فيه الإسلام وأهله فقال ويحك يا جبير ما أهون الخلق على الله عز وجل إذا أضاعوا أمره بينما هي أم قاهرة ظاهرة لهم الملك تركوا أمر الله فصاروا إلى ما ترى Listen to this narration, Ikhwan. That when the Muslims were able to conquer the nation of Cyprus, and that the people after their conquering, they were divided amongst themselves, and they were seen to be crying one to the other. And it mentions that Abu Darda was also crying. So someone came to Abu Darda and said, what causes you to cry in a day where Allah has given Izzah strength to Islam and the people of Al-Islam? And Abu Darda said, Wayhaka, he said, Woe to you. Do you not see what is before you? A nation that was mighty, a nation that had power in the earth, but because of their transgression and opposition to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have become what you see in front of you today. Because of their transgression against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of their sin against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of their might, all of their power was to no avail. And in the structuring of our community, Ikhwan, and in the building, Ikhwan, we must start from the foundation. And the foundation is that the izz is from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Might comes from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not a matter of we are the most knowledgeable. 
It is not a matter that we have the most wealth, Ikhwan. It is not a matter that we are 